multi-currency. Manage your business across multiple countries with ease. Easily reconcile multi-currency transactions. Add multi-currency bank accounts with accurate exchange rates. In the following example, a UK-based company called Divine Chocolates needs to do business in multiple currencies. These include Euro, US Dollar and Canadian Dollar. If you have worked with multiple currency invoicing before, you would have already done this setup. If not, the setup is under Settings and in the Financial Settings section click on Currencies. Then select Enable Foreign Currency Transactions. To automatically use the most up-to-date exchange rates, select the Use Live Exchange Rates checkbox. The latest rates will appear. When entering multi-currency transactions, the most up-to-date rate is used and not the exchange rate as at the date of the transaction. If you choose not to use live exchange rates, you will need to manually enter and maintain the rates for the relevant currency. You can do this from here, or alternatively, you can enter the rate when posting individual transactions. In this example, however, we'll be using the live rates. To add new currencies, select them from the drop-down list on the next available line. Check or enter the information for the bank charges ledger account. This is the nominal ledger account used for any bank charges you might incur and the exchange rate gains and losses ledger account. If the exchange rate changes between creating an invoice and receiving or making a payment, the difference posts to this nominal ledger account. This helps you keep track of how much you gain or lose through the changes in the rates. You've successfully enabled multi-currency transactions and chosen your currencies. Now check the currency settings in your customer and supplier records by going to Contacts and from the drop-down list, click Customer or Supplier and then click the required contact. Let's create a new contact record for the US company that reviews our contracts in North America. When creating a new contact, you're able to select a currency for that contact, making it easier when paying for the services. Go to the Defaults tab and choose the required currency and save. While we are creating a new contact, let's create a duplicate contact for South Pines Canadian offices. This will enable us to select a currency for our existing records. With any of your existing contact records that you've already entered transactions, you are not able to change the currency as it is grayed out. Instead, you need to create another contact record for that customer and choose the currency you want to use. We can now start to set up our multi-currency bank accounts. When adding a bank account in the banking setup, your base rate is visible. And when you go into Currency, the drop-down will show the multi-currencies that you've selected to do business in. When you select Save, they will be ready for you to use. You're now ready to start processing multi-currency transactions. Your invoices, credit notes, quotes, payments and receipts will appear in the relevant contacts currency. You will see the exchange rate used, see what the value of the transaction is in your base currency and can also record any currency charges incurred. Now we'll create a few transactions to demonstrate it. When entering invoices, credit notes and quotes, Create them as normal.
notice the currency automatically populates and when you select save, you are able to toggle between the currencies. When you select record payment, the multi-currency bank accounts previously created are available to be paid into. It's the same with purchase invoices. When creating a new purchase invoice, the currency will automatically default to the selected currency. You can toggle between the two different currencies. Select record a payment and the bank options will enable you to record a payment, making the process much easier. When transferring between accounts, you can do this in multi-currencies from the banking page. Selecting the bank account and creating a new entry. Here, we will be able to select the currency that the transfer is being completed in before we submit. Let's look at the transactions just created. Entering the Canadian bank account, the transactions are displayed and you can toggle between the base rate and the foreign currency. To view details of the transaction, including the foreign amount and the exchange rate used, simply click the payment or receipt. If the exchange rate changes between posting an invoice and payment or credit note and refund, the difference in the rate is posting to the exchange rate gain or loss nominal ledger account. The new revaluation tab is used on a monthly or quarterly basis when re-evaluation of this account is needed. When selected, select the date and the exchange rate is populated and it creates a gain or loss for that bank account. Add a reference for easy audit purposes and select Revaluate. At the bottom, notice the transactions for gain and loss has been recorded. You can delete these if you notice an error and re-enter as needed. This value also appears on your profit and loss report as an overhead. For further information and more in-depth courses, visit Sage University at www.sageu.com.